Hi, and welcome to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. Thank you for joining me today. I have a great cardio session for you today. We're gonna to be doing timed ladders. And so what that means is we'll go through all the exercises for 40 seconds. The next round, we'll do them for 30 and then 20, and then we're gonna reverse that and just do 20, 30, 40, and then we'll be finished. This does move quickly. It's great for people who tend to get bored easily or um, just want, you know, kind of a fast moving something that goes through quickly and makes you feel like um, you weren't in here for hours and hours and hours working out in pure torture. So give this workout a try. Let me know what you think. All you need is water and a towel. So grab those supplies and let's get started. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. We'll start with that warm up. Do make sure you have a sweat towel and some water, and of course, that music to help inspire those feet to move. So let's go ahead, just our usual knees up, tummy tight, marching in place. <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead and breathe together. Take a nice big inhale, arms all the way up, reach. Exhale, shoulders relax as you bring those hands down. Inhale up. Exhale, release. One more time, big inhale. Exhale. I want you to think as we do this workout about breathing. A lot of times when you're working out, especially heavily, you breathe very shallow. You really want to think about taking nice big inhales. That oxygen is your fuel and it will give you more energy. It may not necessarily make you feel better, uh, but it will help with your energy level. So just make sure you're taking nice big inhales. All right, let's go ahead and stop those feet. Baby squat. Squeeze at the top, pushing those hip bones forward. You're staying in the heels. Knees are safely behind the toes. When those knees go forward to the toes, it just puts a lot of stress and pressure on those knees, and they just don't need it. So safety first. Back. Press those hips back. Squeeze. Back. Squeeze. Belly's tight, of course, always supporting that low back. Give me two more. And now we're just going to lunge back. Again, baby lunges, right? We're just trying to warm everything up. Now, if I'm moving too fast, move at your own pace. Or maybe even warm up ahead of time and skip right to the workout. We do about a five minute warm up, but a lot of times you do need a longer warm up. So if you've been sitting for a while or you're really stiff and sore, I would recommend getting a warm up before you come and join me and then maybe doing this warm up together. All right, we're gonna go one more time on each leg. Perfect, all right, turn toward me. Let's open those hips. Open, bring it in. We're warming up the hip, deep into that hip joint. We wanna get all that snowball fluid going. That's kind of like the grease for your body, like a car. Helps lubricate everything. And we're gonna to switch to that other leg. Keep that chest up, tummy's tight. Just feel that range of motion. You're giving me as much movement as you can. Every day will be different. Keep that other knee soft. All right, I lost count one more time. Arms out to the side. Let's go ahead and give me some Frankensteins. This is a dynamic hamstring stretch. Bring the toes toward the hands, tummy tight. Keep that chest lifted. I don't want you to drop to reach the toes. It's not about touching the toes. It's about stretching out that hamstring, warming it up. So nice straight leg. Even if it's down here, you're feeling that pull through the hamstring, bringing that heart rate up. <clears throat> All right, one more each side. All right, we're gonna move right into butt kickers. Heels to the glutes. You can use those arms. Do whatever movement you like. As long as we're moving those arms along with it, if you can. Breathe. Should start to feel that heart rate come up. Maybe you're warming up a little bit. It's kind of cool here today in Texas. I say cool because anyone in the North would laugh at me if I would say cold, because <laughs> it's not cold. But for Texas, it's cold. So my room is real, real cool. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, so I'm used to really cold weather and prefer it. So it's a little rough in Texas during the summer for me. So when it gets cool, uh, I turn off the heat, open the windows. I just love the cool weather. 
It's so nice. So my house is cool right now. It's gonna take me a bit, I think, to break a sweat. All right, we're almost there. I want you really good and warmed up for this. All right, let's go ahead and move into modified jacks. Nice and easy, soft knees. Think about those shoulders. Maybe this is a better position for you. Maybe right here is a better position for you. Listen to your body. Now start to pick it up a little bit. Good. Breathe deep. And if you can, exhale through pursed lips. It'll keep more oxygen in that blood for a little bit longer. Every little bit can help for sure. Good, soft knees. Keep those knees soft and that tummy tight. All right, let's go ahead and hold it still, side to side. It's very important in this one that you're also back in that heel, knee behind the toe. A lot of times my clients will come forward. Really think about sitting back. You should feel it in the inner thigh. When you look down, you should be able to see that toe, no problem. This back is nice and flat. If you can stay up while you do this, that's great. I tend to come a little more forward. So just keep your back flat. Couple more. All right, one more on each side. All right, bring those feet together. Let's just give you some shoulder rolls. Warming up a little bit more. We're gonna be doing some jumping jacks. Dare I say the B word, burpee. Yes, we will be doing burpees as well. <laughs> That's right, they're good for us, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I tell myself. Big inhale, chest open, exhale round. Inhale, open, exhale round one more time. <sighs> and shake it out, all right. Grab a quick drink. Make sure I've set this up properly. Yes. Okay. First one out the door is going to be a squat with a front toe touch. We got this. Here we go. Squat, front toe touch. So it's going to be opposite hand to foot. So maybe in the beginning, right, we talked about needing a little extra time to warm up sometimes. If that's you today and you didn't have an extensive warm up, if you just warmed up with me, then I want you to keep it shallow. Keep it shallow. Keep it slow. Right? If you had a warm up prior to our warm up together, now you can take it deeper. Reach those hands out. Remember, it's not about getting the toe to touch the hand because I don't want you to round, right, to reach it. Keep that chest up. Next up, lunge back with a kick, right leg only. So it's lunge back, you're gonna kick left. Lunge back right, kick left. Stay with this same leg. Next time we're going to the other one. So these 40 seconds do feel a bit long, but when we go down to the 20s, to me they feel long too, because you're real tired by then. But, you got it. You can do it. Mind over matter, right? Most things. Again, keep it shallow. Maybe for this first whole first round, you're not going to your deepest, deepest range of motion. All right, we're going to switch. Step back left. Kick right. Tummy is tight. Just give me your kick. Maybe it's just a knee up. Maybe you have some knee issues that keep you from kicking. If you are kicking, please kick with your heel. Head and chest up. Tummy's tight. Maybe you want to punch with that kick. It's your workout. 10 seconds. Three. All right. Here's our burpees. Give me the version you can do. I'll show modify. All right, step back, hips low, come up, or maybe jump, jump, toe reach. 
Maybe there's no toe reach. Maybe there's a jump instead of a toe reach. Choose your level. Ten seconds. Come on, you got this. One more. Whew, good job. Butt kickers. Just like warm up. Heel to the good. Reach those arms this time. Pull back. You should be getting breathless. It's getting hard to talk. Breathe. All right, make sure you're getting those heels as close to your glutes as you can. If you want to take it up a level, you can add a jump. That's high impact though, be aware. If you need to stay low impact, I want you to stay with me. Jumping jacks. Hands will go front and side. Start to the side. Here we go. Soft knees, go front. Knees, arms in front. Keep breathing, come on. Keep those knees soft. I know I say it a lot, but it protects your knee joint. Belly's in, protecting your low back. Next up, we have a sumo with a twist, which is just a really wide squat. Perfect. Wide, toes are open slightly. Hands behind the head. Squat, bring that knee up, twist toward it. Maybe you're just here. Okay. Breathe. Sit back in those heels, right? Toes, or I should say knees behind the toes. You should be able to see those toes. Modify jump squat next. Squat, up on your toes. Full jump squat is there. If you're doing a full jump squat, land with soft knees. So what that means, if you come into a squat, keep those knees safe. Never land stiff-legged. Reach, squat, reach, squat, reach. Abs tight. Load up, reach. Really push those hips forward. Up on the toes if you can. All right, we have a squat, rotation, knee lift. Feet hip width, squat, rotate. Breathe, come on. We have about 10 seconds. Mountain climbers next. Okay, tummy tight, knee in. Maybe you're starting slow. Then you start to pick it up. And then maybe you can do a little jump or a little, it's not really a jump, more of a hop maybe, but you don't have to. You can just move fast with no little lift of the feet. Tummy tight. Breathe. Keep the gaze down with those hands, keeping your neck in line. Take it up. Skaters with a touchdown. So you're just gonna start here. 
Again, it can be a side step, big, or it can be a little hop. Listen to your body. Maybe slow, maybe then you start to pick it up. Maybe you take it down. That back is flat, tummy is tight. Try to keep that hand off that leg. Breathe. You should be breathless. Four. All right. Done with the first round. Catch some water. The hair. Okay. Next, we're going to go through that. 30 seconds. Everything else is the same. Ready? Squat, front toe touch. Good. Reach. Remember, it can be here. If you're dying, if your heart is pounding and you're really struggling, slow it down until you feel good again. Or maybe you skip this one. Take a little extra break. One more. Okay, lunge back, right leg back, left kicks. Here we go. Kick, lunge, kick. Once you get it, see if you can speed it up. Breathe. Tummy tight. I was leaning forward. Lean back into that back leg. Break. Other side. Goodness. Here we go. Kick. Remember we're starting slow. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you kick it up a notch. Move faster. Maybe you're adding a jump. Jump kick. Reach your one arm. Can be same arm, can be opposite. The dreaded burpee. Here we go. Step or jump. Breathe. Maybe take these slower. Maybe you're here. That's how you modify. Slow down. Maybe it's too easy. <laughs> then you speed up. All right, butt kicks. My youngest starters tell me in PE they got to choose an exercise. And of course, she's the kid that chooses burpees. So everyone in PE hates her. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. <laughs> I hated those people in class. <laughs> Heel up, soft knees, tummy tight. <sighs> Jumping jacks are next. <sighs> Remember hands front side. Let's start front this time. Into the side. Or did we start front last time? <laughs> I don't remember. <sighs> oh, truly doesn't matter. Softies, tummy tight. Up tall. Remember, you're slowing it down if you need to. Picking up the pace. If this is easy, we're not challenging enough. And only you can determine that. I'm just here to guide you. Sumo. Twist. When you twist, I want you to notice my elbow is not going toward my head. You're twisting high. It's not about getting them to touch. The hands are behind your head, but that's it. You're not yanking on your neck. Lift your heart. Oh, 
Mind if I jump squat? Squat, reach. Start them slower, maybe picking it up. Good, keep reaching. We got three more moves after this, then you get a break. You got this, come on. Five seconds. Next up, squat with rotation. Got knee lifts. So if you don't want to do the knee lift, you can still rotate, right? Or maybe just squat. Listen to your body. I want you to challenge yourself, but be realistic. If you're dizzy, nauseous, seeing spots, those are all signs that you've pushed it too far. I want you to back off, take a break. Get back in and go slower. Modify more. Mountain climbers. Flat back, come tight. Maybe start slow and maybe pick it up. We got one more after this. Keep that neck in line. Looking down in between those hands. Don't look at those toes. Don't look at me. There, up. Woo. All right, last one. <laughs> those skaters. So you're here. Maybe releasing that foot. Maybe a little hop, maybe tap, but hand is not on the thigh, okay? Not on the thigh. Head up, flat back. If you're reaching toward the floor, flat back. You don't have to touch the floor. No break, not long. We need to keep that heart rate elevated. We don't want to drop in too low so the brakes are smaller. <sighs> Finally made it to 20. <sighs> All right, starting over. Pause it if you need more break. Squat, toe touch. Meter, how you're doing? Let's take a look. Is your back flat? Is your tummy tight? Are you sinking in the hips? Not bending through the hips. Sinking, right? Maybe you need to modify. Right back, left kick. All right, see if you can reach your arm out. Can be the same or it can be opposite. I will screw that up. Oh, these are so short. Switch, they feel so short. All right, stepping back left. Reaching opposite or the same. Keep it the same as the other leg though. Whoa. And focus so you don't fall. Next up, burpees. All right, here we go. Reach, step, or jump. Reach. Try to land softly. That takes ab control, but you can do it. All right, hands to the side. Because I remembered we started front last time. Reach. Soft knees. Pick it up. If you need a little, a little vision, a little harder. Or if you're down, you're here. All right, sumos. Hands behind the head. Squat. Toes are open. Twist. Wider stance. 
Sink in the hips. Keep that head and chest looking at me. Modified jump squat. Squat, reach. Sinking in those hips. Sitting in the heels. Toes up. Reach. Shoulder blades down. This bothers your shoulders. You don't need to reach at all. Or reach out to the side. Nice. All right, squat rotation. Legs are hip width. Turn into the leg that's up. And again, if you need to, pick it up. Mountain climbers. Starting slow and picking it up. One before a break, skaters. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're here. Whoops. Hand off the thigh. You see me cheat. Oh, I'm a bad example. Lot back. Push your chest out. You're working out with a friend. Check each other's back. Oh. Take a break. I must have skipped one. I don't even know. Very y'all looked out on that one. Breathe. All right, so you notice that 20 second one wasn't too bad. We're halfway. We gotta go the other way. We're gonna go 20 again. This time, I'm not gonna skip it. I think I skipped the butt kicks. Whoops. Too bad, I didn't skip the burpees. And that'd have been a nice mistake. <sighs> Sink, reach. Sink. <sighs> Pick it up if you need to. Slow it down if you need to. Broken record, right? Are you tired of hearing me? All right, lay back. Kick with the left. <sighs> and do the punch. Sumo. 
wide legs, toes open, twist. Remember your chest stays up. Use that belly. Get a little ab workout. Tummy tight. One more. Modified jump squat. Squat. Reach. Maybe you want to load the hands up. That's good. This part doesn't matter. Give me your best range of motion. You should be there by now. All right. Squat with rotation. Think about dropping low. Twist. Twist. We have mountain climbers next. Okay. Take it down. All right, if you don't like these ones, if you're tired and can't do them anymore, find a different exercise. Make it cardio, keep the heart rate up. All right. Skaters. So here. Or taking it up a level two levels, <laughs> depending on where you are. Hand off the thigh, either on the hip or maybe the low back. Break. All right, get some water. Don't stop moving. Try to keep your head above your heart. Okay. Climbing our way back up. You guys are more than halfway. You got this. 30 seconds. If you're still with me. <laughs> because surely you can stop this, this workout after that first 30, 40, 30, 20. You can stop it there. That's a good half hour. Or keep on keeping on. Squat, front, no, not squats, jacks. <laughs> mm. Maybe I should just stop talking. It's obviously not a good talking day. <sighs> Tummy tight, chest up. Reach those arms up. Ooh, I was being lazy. Arms up. Reach, shoulder down. Lunging back right, kicking left. Come on, you're working on that endurance. You can do this. You can do a lot more than you think you can. You can endure a lot more than you think you can. Come on, stay with me. Getting healthier. We're fighting that clock. Pushing back a little. Every time you work out, you push back a little on that. Time clock, that aging clock. Here we go. Reach. Knee down. All right, I'm tired, so I'm leaning forward again. Make sure you're leaning back. And I'll try to remember to lean back. seconds. Four. All right, the big bird. Here we go. Reach. Maybe now you modify. Okay. Listen to your body, please. Reach, tummy tight. Those hips low, 10 seconds. Oh, yes. 
Little kicks. All right, this is kind of an active recovery bit. Those burpees really got hurry up. This one's meant to help bring it down a little bit. So, slow it down if you need to. Maybe it's just this, okay? Take what you need. This is challenging, especially if you're a beginner, because this is endurance work. You gotta work up to endurance work. But you have to start somewhere. Side hands, jacks. We have some nose necks. Hands up. Abs. How are you doing? Check in. All right, hands behind the head. Toes open. I think I screwed up that first one. <laughs> oh boy. Whatever. <laughs> Tell you, I'm human. I have my off days. And you just have to laugh. What else can you do? You just keep going. <laughs> Take a break. All right, down squats. I think, yes. I'm just sure double checking myself. Down, reach. Or maybe arms back. Load up, reach. In the heels. This is when you're gonna come into those toes early. Stay back. Good break. Squats with rotation. Knee lift. Big deep breaths. Breathe, come on. You can finish. You only have about five seconds. Mount climbers. Remember your modifier or choose a different exercise. Fast if you can. Try to keep those hips down. I think mine are down. <laughs> Don't have a mirror. Don't have a partner. Not really sure. Keep it going. Come on. All right, last one. Skiers. Maybe you're here. We've done a lot. Maybe. You go a little more. Maybe you come down. Hand not on the thigh. Lock back. Maybe you do this for a few and then you gotta come up here. That's okay. You don't have to stay with the same one the whole time. Break. That's part of modifying. Giving yourself that little burst and then pulling back when you need to. It's a great way to elevate that training and to make yourself stronger because eventually you'll be able to do it at that full pace for the full amount of time. I'm always amazed at the body and what it can do. It's an amazing machine. Despite what people do to it. <laughs> Okay, a couple more seconds. Big breaths. All right, this is our last push. We're back up to that 40 seconds. You can do it. I know you're tired. I know you're wanting to quit, 
but I want you to trust me. Stay with me. Just do the best you can. Even if that means you're only working out for 10 seconds, that's 10 seconds more than you were going to do. And that is excellence, right? Doing the best you can. You are the only one that knows your best. I can't tell you what that is. Here we go. But please just be honest with yourself. Soft knees. Reach up. I want you to keep those shoulders down. Keep that tummy tight. For some reason, I'm looking at my right shoulder. I'm like doing this zombie move for some reason. Lunge back, right, kick left. Here we go. I'm gonna cross kick this time. Change it up. Be daring. I'm not very daring. I'm not a very daring person at all. <laughs> 20 seconds, come on. Breathe. You're taking big gulps of air. Leaning back. Was I leaning forward? Five. Here we go. Back left, kick right. Reach. Stay back. Stay back. High kick. Your high kick, whatever that is. Keep that head and chest up. Fifteen seconds. seconds. Keep that heart rate up. I still want you breathing heavy. Not gasping for air, but near to that. By the end of this one, you'll be gasping for air. A little cardio push. 10 seconds. Gaze at those hands. start with. <laughs> so, instead of a jumping jack here, let's do one I'm pretty sure I skipped again. Squat toe touch. <laughs> Took me a while to figure it out. Now. <sighs> you know what's bad is it's written right in front of me. I have no excuse. <sighs> I was relying on my memory, which is a bad idea. If you know me, that's just a bad idea. Oh well, as long as we're moving, right? Never stop moving. Sumo is next. With her hands behind her head. You can tell me I'm tired. Balance is shot. All right, toes open, wide stance. Squat, twist. Head and chest stay up. Twenty 
five seconds. Come on. We got this. Look at me. Keep going. Head and chest up. Give me what you got. This is not easy. If it was, everyone would be healthy. And us, as a country, are so far from that. Jump squat. Squat, reach up. Keep going. My hair just all over the place. Breathe. Exhale through those pursed lips. Be in control of that breath. Reach. Reach. Shoulder blades down. Up on your toes. All right. Squats with that rotation. Rotate. Let me see you smile. Come on, you're almost done. Don't give up now. This, these last three, these make all the difference. Give me what you can. I'm slowing down a little bit. My balance is way too shoddy right now. So, taking the cue from my body, I'm slowing it down a little bit. Still huffing and puffing. I'm still feeling challenged. Mountain climbers. Last time. All right, start slow if you need to. Make sure those hips aren't up. Get them low. And then begin. Maybe a little faster. Breathe, breathe. I'm still sweating, my hands are sliding. All right, last one. Skaters. All right, come on. Give me your best. Maybe this is your best. Great. Thank you for giving it to me. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Breathe with me, come on. Exhale through those lips. Monitor that breath. Big inhales. Don't breathe shallow. And done. Oh, hit it with your heart. Don't stop moving. Sips of water when you're ready. <coughs> All right. Let's go ahead, move side to side. Arms out to the side. Start bringing that heart right down in a safe way. All right, congratulations on completing this workout. It's a doozy. It's a great cardio session you can do in your home, at the gym, in a hotel room. The low impact makes it friendly for those that have neighbors below you. All right, hands to the hips, keep the legs, head and chest up. And now slow the legs just a little bit. I bring that heart rate a little lower. Keep that heart up. Big breaths. All right, take nice big inhales using those arms. Slow those legs a little more. 
One more time, a little slower. Perfect, all right, if you still feel that heart really pumping, you're having a hard time speaking a long sentence without stopping for air, I want you to stay here until you're ready. If you meet all those requirements, you can speak a long sentence, you're not dizzy or any, um, not dizzy, that's not what I meant. You can speak a long sentence, you're thinking clearly, apparently I need to keep moving, and you feel ready, that heart's not pounding in your chest, right? then you can go ahead and stop those feet. Let's go ahead and take that right arm out, bring it across the body, drop that shoulder down, just a quick stretch. Still breathing deeply, let's switch, other side. Release, let's go ahead and take the body over to the right, reach down, grab that left soft right knee. Other hand is for balance, so it can be wherever you need it to be. I want you to pull that leg back slightly, tuck your tailbone, push your hips forward and feel the stretch down the front of the thigh. A lot of legs today. Big muscles make the heart really come up. So when we're doing low impact cardio, we use a lot of legs. Switch, other side. Find that balance. It's better now. Soft knee, other hand can be where it needs to be. Pull your leg back slightly, knees together, tummy tight, push your hips forward. Release, let's just go ahead and take this right foot forward. Hands to the left thigh. Sink back and pull back on that right leg, almost like you're going to drag it. And now you're going to take it up and you're going to switch. Hands to the thigh, pull back. Sink into the glutes. You should feel that in your hamstring, back of the thigh. And take it up. All right, come up. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time. Exhale, all right, if you would like a deeper, more longer stretch, then I'll go ahead and do some yoga with me. I'm actually gonna take a yoga session right after that, so it would be great if you could join me in that yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very proud of you today. You're stronger today than you were before you began this routine. Make sure you have a great day. Make sure you click like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing you these videos. Thank you.